Hi, welcome to another Illustrator tutorial. My name is Matt and I'm with Creative 8 and today I'm going to show you something that is super hard to do in Illustrator because, you know, it's just so difficult, which is creating chevron patterns. Ta-da! Anyways, um, it's actually a lot easier than you probably think. I know I've made these in the past uh, various ways and I wanted to share with you a very easy way to do it. It's so easy. I mean, someone who didn't even know Illustrator could do this. It's just super, 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 super easy. So let me show you what that is so you can get on with doing more awesome stuff like creating stripes. So uh, let's get started. So here I've got uh, a few chevron patterns that I've made within Illustrator. And uh, this one was doing the same effect using a different method and kind of got these edges. But uh, I'll talk about that later. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and create some Chevron patterns. I'm going to go ahead and create a new artboard. Boom, like that. And then I'm going to grab my line tool. And I like to have my grid on on this. You don't have to. I don't like working with the grid. But in this case, I think it'll work uh, better for what we're doing. And then hit Control shift um, quotations and it'll constrain it to the grid. And then you can just draw a straight line over. You can also hold the shift key. It does it too. But anyways, what we're going to do is apply a stroke to this line. And I'm going to do this little minty color. Adjust the width or the weight of that stroke. And then I'm going to take this item and duplicate it down. Maybe not. Down. And then I'm just going to duplicate that transform, which is uh, which you can do in Illustrator by holding down Control D, and you just keep placing this, and it'll duplicate your last transformation done. And this will, I mean, this can, anyways, it's just awesome. You should use that shortcut if you don't use it. Um, now that I've got these duplicated, I'm going to select all of them, right click on it, click Group or Shortcut Control G. That way it'll act as one object and not, you know, 50 of these or whatever I've got here. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is apply a background color to this. And I'm just going to grab my marquee tool, which is shortcut M. And I'm just going to ring it down here. Change the background color to maybe more of this green. Maybe not because I don't have my, my background <clears throat> isn't set to fill or my foreground. And I'll come down and pick a brown color and then hitting control shift left bracket I'll send it to the back and then I'll reselect my lines here and then I'll come up to effect this is complicated don't don't you know think too hard click on zigzag and then boom check that out instant zigzags super easy anybody can do it a two-year-old could do it it's great look at that um, one thing to keep in mind I've noticed is uh, even though I know they're pretty evenly spaced, if you increase the ridges per segment, it just doesn't seem to work how you would think it does. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're doing this. And I'm going to stick with probably like 28, and I'll bring the size down just a little bit more. Maybe a little up more, I don't know, whatever. You can change it to a smooth and you get these little wavy things, whatever, but that's not a chevron. This is a chevron. We want chevron. So I'm going to click OK. I, I like this method over doing, a, you know, grabbing your, your, say, a marquee tool and doing this because you can do it this way too. It just seems more time consuming, I think, to create the actual shapes like this and then you click them and you come to your shape mode and you join them and you know you try to create a pattern and you know anyways it's just anyways I mean this way works but uh, it's harder it's harder to edit it after the fact you know this way if the lines are great say I don't like how thick they are I can just come over here and tone down my width or my weight and adjust it and after that wow check that out awesome chevron patterns super easy my name is Matt I'm with creative 8 please like and share subscribe Give me some feedback. Would love it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating these awesome Chevron patterns in Adobe Illustrator. Take care.